Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I'm Cash. And I'm Dad. And today we are doing another mystery box break. It is so fun to go back to mystery boosters uh, and uh, and open them up and, and go through. Every pack uh, just has goodness in it. Uh, really. Yeah, it's just like a casual throwback. Yeah, right? So many different cards in it. Um, I remember when we just got them. Yeah, when we first got into it, first got some of the boxes, they were super yeah. hard to get. Um, they're but still they're not so good, right? And they're still not the easiest packs to get. Um, they did do a re little reprint at one point. Uh, just gonna mix these up. Uh, we got uh, four blokes uh, that are doing this, so we're gonna kind of mix them up for them. Okay. We'll split up the box. Who are the people going? Oh, we got Pierre going. We got uh, uh, who else? We got Tiago going. We got Steve and Is Kurt. Is everybody doing the same amount of packs? They are. Everyone gets six packs, okay, so we're so splitting it up. First person we're doing, uh, first, was the first person to ask, and, and actually he was bugging me, uh, Tiago. So we're going to do Tiago first. And then Pierre, Kurt, and who? And Steve. Okay. You know Steve. Steve you know? Gravel. Steve Gravel. Hey! Uh, of much fame, actually, uh, if you're watching the channel, uh, he... He had the best promo box the first time we did promo boxes. So he uh, he was in the initial promo box we did. Hey, no one comments so far. Uh, Lightning card I like. Uh, oh, all right, so we're into a Mercadian Mass card. Never really stood out in Mercadian Mass. So interesting reprint. Word of Invention. Okay, basically an artifact card uh, tutor. And Pill... Pilipala. Pilipala. Yeah. All right, I'd say that's kind of a very eh, mediocre kind of start. Uh, I'm not sure. We if, should get that. Well, I'm not sure if Word of Invention's worth anything. Uh, it might. It might be. All right. All right. We started with an uncommon at least. Nice. Gains protection from the color of your choice. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Do you remember the pack? You can actually like... hold on. So the neat, neat part about this one is you can give it. You can give it it. And a lot of the cards say like give another creature. So I actually kind of think that's a little bit better. Uh, Trinket Mage. Go ahead. Uh, do you remember the one pack where it was literally? Oh, hello. Right. Hi, Timmy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Prodigal Sorcerer, one of my all-time favorite cards. As I was saying, do you remember the pack that we were opening with Mystery Booster? Most and we honest. literally got... <gasps> he drawn <Ooh>! crab. <laughs> and we got <laughs> all uncommons. No. Oh, well, there's still tons of pollen around. All right. Millstone? He... Wow, what a pack, eh? Wait, what's Reaper King? So we got Animar, which is a really good card. Yeah, for sure. Uh, big old Animar, big, uh, big, uh, and Hedrion Crab, which is a great uncommon. Yeah. Uh, so very nice. We also got the Reaper King foil. What's Reaper King? Uh, so Reaper King is two of each color. And uh, he gives other Scarecrow creatures plus one, plus one. And whenever another Scarecrow comes into play under your control, destroy target permanent. No, it's actually two colorless. Or... No, it's what? not. It's two of each of the colors. I know, it's a little confusing how they did it, but it's two of each of the colors. Okay. All right. A uh, really nice pack, man. Um, Can be paid with too many... Two mana or just one white? Oh, I did it wrong. So you could just do one of each color. Yeah. Oh, man. I always misunderstood that one. I've never played the cards in all fair. Oh, Sword to Plowshares. Nice, nice. uncommon. Ariel. Some nice stuff in here, eh? Mm-hmm. Timberwatch Elf. Nice uh, elf reprint. I'm going to put him in the good pile here. I'm just kind of separating the sort of the uncommon cards that I like. Oh, I like this card, too. Uh, Hedge Mage. Very nice. Fairy Conclave. Very nice land. Mad Magus oh, of the Moat. Oh, nice. Very sweet card. And, oh, ho, ho. that's a, like a $30, $40 wow. card now. Sliver, Hive Lord. What a start. Bellis. And you got an 8th edition reprint foil. Wow, three rare pack, too, there. Wow, man. Magus of the Moat and Sliver, Hive Lord. I oh. can't read that. Uh, weirdling? Weird, weirding? Uh, players play with their hands revealed. If a player would draw a card, they may reveal it instead. Then any other player may pay two life. If they do, put that card into its owner's graveyard. Otherwise, that player draws a card. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So this pack starts Ooh. with Path of it to Exile. Very nice stuff. 
Super Cat. Oh, we see Pure has been hot lately uh, in these openings, and, and this, this is has just Pure continued, Pure. right? Pure right now. This is for Tiago. Oh, sorry. It's Ti hey, Tiago was due. I was promising Tiago I'd open something good. Actually, I promised him. Do you remember what I. You didn't hear me what I promised him. Mancrypt? I promised him a Ristic Study. Oh, Ristic Study. Wow. Avalanche Raiders. All, all is, is dust. dust. Each player sacrifices all colored permanents. That is a really nice card in a color deck, in a like a colorless deck, and a lantern of insight, which is not bad as well. Another nice. Oh, Tiago, man, this is this is true. Tiago's been a little cold lately. He's been kind of salty about the whole thing. Don't blame him. Uh, we did uh, six packs in a uh, in a uh, we did six packs of collectors of of uh, what was it? Zendikar Rising. Zendikar, Collectors. yeah, there you go. Zendikar Rising Collectors, uh, and we pulled him uh, not great cards. We he did we, get a couple of. He got one, and nice. then he got the box topper. Yeah, like Tide Drinker, right? But he did. He was looking for a fetch land. Um, oh, carpet Yay, of flowers. Fifteen dollars last time I checked. Yeah, I think it's up to twenty. Nice. Uh, very nice carpet of flowers. Ooh, that's cool. Meandering Tower Shell, I think the best card. Ooh, and a Stocking, stocking stones. stones. I think the best card in that was definitely the Carpet Flower. So that is a really, really nice uh, money opening. So I'm sure he's looking for Mana Crypt. For... Um, what? You're opening for more than piles. No, I'm not. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is the sixth pack. Okay. I don't know. It seems like there's like been a lot of good stuff, right? Yep, it feels like it's already been 10 packs. I know, because he's done so well. All right. Uh, belligerent, Brontodon, big old dinosaur. Pilgrim. Martyr's Bond. Pretty nice card. All right. Living Death is a great card, too. I think they're only a few dollars now. It's been reprinted to death. And Helix Pinnacle. This one's just like a really super fun card. You could put uh, in a big mana deck. You're just trying to get 100 counters on this. If you get enough, all the counters on it, you win the game. So, All right. Congratulations, Tiago. That was a great start to this opening. Yeah. All right. Who did you say was next? Pierre was next, right? Yes. All right. Well, Pierre, hopefully, you know, this. you've been opening uh, the last few openings for Pierre level have been up. really good. You got a level up card. Uh, the last uh, openings Pierre has done. Uh, is uh, have been really good, so I don't know. Is he? Oh, Phyrexian Ooh, Metamorph. Nice yeah, that's a nice one. Hornet's Nest. Love this Lantern card. Lantern of Insight. And Lantern that's of Insight. That's the second one we pulled foil. Yeah, we did that in the last opening, right? Where yeah, we got two we, of the. No, we literally just pulled one the last pack. Yeah, the last opening, though, we got the big the big uh, foil. Uh, what was it called? Overlord? No, no, no. In the foil. No, wait. Oh, we got another level up. Another level up card. Hope you like level up. Uh, Fatal push. Nice, uh, valuable, Levels uncommon. Up. Level up is fireball. So, all right, treacherous terrain. Bone splitter. Bone splitter. Trading post. Trading post. Fun card. You can make goats and braid of fire. Nice, uh, nice foil there. Nothing, nothing too big dollars here. Just stop. I'm opening for this. Oh, I'm trying to go fast. You're, you're, uh, so Dash is super, oh, Ninja of the Deep Hours, like that card. All right, um, Dash is super, he's, he's, he's in school, he doesn't want to miss his class. So that's what we're, so, we're kind of arguing about. He doesn't want to miss it, and I'm like, see for the whole opening, and he's like, ah, oh, bring her to the Black Dawn. Well, okay. We like that. Very nice. So I'm going to go a little quicker. Thank you. I won't uh, stop then as I much. No, oh, you can stay for the whole thing. You got to stay for the whole thing. Root these guys on. We haven't been doing too too many openings. Yeah, that's true. So that's why I'm like, we gotta we gotta like, you know, bring our A game here. All right, Cathartic Reunion, always playable card. Grozus's Charm, like it. Ooh, like love the dragony hand, eh? With the. Mm -hmm. All right, Mistress Factory. Factory. Guilt Leaf Palace. Very nice. Cool. Got some value there. Green Belt Rampager. And. Iron Mirror. Iron Mirror. Okay. All right. I haven't pulled you the big uh, the big stuff here, Pierre. Pierre did really well in the last uh, the last mystery booster break. Very true. And uh, and Strixhaven actually, he, he pulled big mm -hmm. time in Strixhaven. Sure. Deep analysis, good uh, common used to be uncommon downgraded in this. 
Uh, Lightning Ooh, Helix. Nice. That's a nice uncommon. Peerless Mirror. Threaten the last troll. Cool. That is a nice one. Can't be countered. 4-4. Four, four. Can't be the target of spells or abilities your opponents control. And he's regeneratable. And you got a, uh, a fairly crummy reprint. Savage Knuckle Blade. Oh, but that's a nice reprint. Teferi's Puzzle Box. We pulled that before. It's so good. It is so good. And the foil and everything. Like that is the that is the it's kind of the one of those epitomes of the fun cards in Magic, and that's just a fun card to have in a deck. Um, of course, you can do some shenanigans and crazy things with it, but uh, just sort of fun, not too broken. Playcraft or some good uncommons. Will o' Wisp, uh, the old Will o' Wisps, the Will the originals. Wisp. Some of them are worth a lot of money now in uh, in when you get into unlimited and stuff. Guys, blessing, nice uh, target player shuffles all uh, up to three cards from their graveyard into the library. Draw a card. Hard to. Uh, it's, it's a nice card, and then it's hard to get decked when you got it in your deck. All right, Soul Manipulation. Hot Soup. Manamorphosis. This has got some value to it. Morphosis. Oh, and Cage Sun. Nice. All right, so we have pretty good here, and Pull from Eternity. So nice end, man. Okay. Yeah, nice end. Actually, you do it. Yeah, it's just a little ahead. faster, right? All right, nice, man. All right, who was next? Um, you remember? This one's for Stephen. All right. So who was the other person? Just keep opening. I'll think of it. Soon <laughs> this, uh, this is Kurt. Oh, yeah, Kurt. Mr. Kurt McConnell. Yeah. Kurt was one of our original. Uh, he was one of our original patrons. Yeah. A uh, really nice guy. I think he's going to school right now. So we got to get him some stuff so he can pay for his school here. All right. Footpad. Didn't we get this before? Is it the same card we got in the first pack? I think it I is. I think so. Precursor Golem and Balduvian Rage. All right. Kind of a slow start, i got to say. Uh, the Golem might be worth a little bit. I, I, It's a, it's not a card that you, I would keep up on. All right. Wing Shards. Ultimately really playable uncommon. Shall it go? Dismember. Not bad. Virulent, virulent Wipe Your Bottom. Crash Through. Crows and Druid. <laughs> All right, you got anything in here? Rogue's Passage. Been rep well, it's like reprinted in every commander set, right? Wild Nactal. All right, Beastmaster Ascension. Nice card. Okay, and then one from time. And you got a, oh, a rare aura. Uh, enchant instant in a graveyard. When you play a, a sorcery spell, copy enchanted instant card. You may play the copy without it playing its mana cost. If you do, remove enchanted card from the game and attach Spellweaver volute to another instant card in the graveyard that's a super fun card i don't own that uh and beastmaster ascension is real nice too oh i'm loving that spell weaver i don't even i didn't even know that card existed Did you no. remember that one no i've kind of like in the past maybe i don't i think it might be the first time we've pulled it in one of these uh, mystery booster openings sakira tribe elder nice nice common hunt the weak knuck levy brimstone dragon Phyrex, Phyrexian Plague Lord. That's a nice one. Sacrifice him. Give a creature minus four, minus four. Blasting sacrifice station. a creature. And you got a Blasting Station. All right. Okay. Three more packs left. This guy. Halfway. Well, we need something big, right? Mm -hmm. This guy, man. He's Kurt McConnell. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Firebolt. Nice card. Soul Ring. Okay. Master Transmuter. Transmuter. Really nice. Oh, nice. Teferi's Protection, a big card. And Harry and you got, Lestra. Yeah, you got a rare Cold Snap card in the foil. That Teferi's Protection is one of the bigger cards in the set. Yeah. So really nice. That's a $30, $40 card there. Really nice. Congrats, man. Well, you got your money back just on that card. So that's this is good stuff. All right. Uh, these box continue to hold value. They're, uh, they're up towards around $300 now a box, Canadian. Ooh, Chasm Skulker and Mind Slave. Ooh, got a uh, another Mind Chasm Slaver. Skulker, which I think is a four or five dollar card, and then Mind Slaver in the foil. Oh wait, Chasm Skulker is really good. Yeah, and so is Mind Slaver, but Mind Slaver is one of my all time least favorite cards. It drives me crazy that people get to control my turn. Doesn't feel like that should be able to happen. I can't. I can't. I just can't wrap my head around that that happens. It just drives me nuts. All right. It's like you should just concede at that point. Oh, you want me to quit a game? You play that card. All right. 
Uh, Dark Steel Garrison got a nice, uh, nice artifact land. A fortified land is indestructible. Oh, oh, oh! Corsair of Crufix, nice. really nice card. And Leveler. Wow, Wait. this is like pretty, pretty spicy. <laughs> Wait, remove your library from the game. Crazy, right? I don't understand how you win. Oh well, you know what? You would, uh, you would, you would need a deck that maybe like um, to fairy master or thought oh, architect. Wait, I know, I know, I know. Where the next card you draw, you win the game. Or if you can't draw a card from your library, you win the game. Oh yeah, like Jace the Mines. No, yeah, one of those Jaces. The one. Oh Jace, sorry, was Teferi, Did I say? I think it's yeah. Jace. Factor Fiction. All right, who we're we're into last person, which is Steve Gravel. Steve Gravel, always opened well on the channel. Armadillo Cloak, one of my nice. favorite all-time cards. Diamond Mare is nice. Bone Splitter. Approach of the Second Sun. It's a pretty nice card. Was this, was this one reprinted in the... Oh, oh and Zier's Rooting again. I'm not sure if I'm already over time. Was Approach the Second Sun one of the uh, Mystical Archives? I don't no. think so. No. can't remember. Let's see things up. I think you're okay still for time, buddy. You got two minutes. All right, so we'll... we'll, okay. we'll Try to get him to the end here. All right. I don't think we have enough time. I might leave at three packs still. All right. Suspicious bookcase. Ristic study. I told you it was coming in this pack, in this box. Very nice, man. Everyone's hit a big card in this. Mern Crusader. Oh, that's a great card, too. And Marrow in the foil. Two foil rares. What a box. Okay, after this pack and the next one. Oh my goodness. Now Dash doesn't want to leave because it's so good. No. That's not All right, what do we got here? I'm still going to leave. Oh my goodness. Can't get him to the end. Rampant growth. It's literally two packs. Okay. All right, we got a nice. violent nice. ultimatum. Flip it. Flibble. And a wall of poo. All right. <laughs> Remember. Uh, at least cumulant upkeep's not well. It's it's a pretty bad one. I guess you get a one eight creature for two. It's a thing, and it does have flying. Not a bad wall. Balustrade spy playable card. All right, what do we got here? Reliquary tower, nice card. Phantasmal dragon. Release the gremlins and a fungusaur. Okay. All right, cooled See off. You guys. All right, Dash is running away. We got a couple packs left. This is mana crypt time. I don't know. Could we hit a mana crypt in this box? We've hit, we've hit like of course you can. so much Please good stuff. Yourself. So much good stuff. Propaganda. Love the art on that. All right. What do we got here? I'm gonna enjoy the last couple packs. Now the dash isn't here. He's not rushing me anymore. Hexplate bomb. Sanguinate's a very nice card. Really good. Each opponent loses X life. You gain life equal to life loss this way. This great card in multiplayer. Oh, expropriate. Another mythic. Really. Oh, and a storm crow. Wouldn't be a good opening without a foil. Storm crow. What's that card worth? Like $100? All right. Last pack. This has been Ultimate Treasure Mage. What do we got in here? New Horizon. Explore. Nice common. Blade Wing, the Risen, was a big-time thing when he uh, came out originally. Not so much now. Mirror Retriever, nice card. Black Knight. I am the Black Knight. I am invincible! Cauldron of Souls. Hmm. I don't know. Never. I don't, not, not. Oh, nice! And so we got a foil reprint of... A Champions of Kamigawa, Celestial Kirin. Whenever you play a Spirit or Arcane spell, destroy all permanents with that spell's converted mana cost. Wow, isn't that cool? Huh, really cool. Anyway, super duper opening. Wow, we uh, we pulled some nice stuff in this. Got ourselves a Ristic Study here. We got the... Um, what the hell did we get? We got the, uh, the Teferi's Protection. Uh, we got ourselves a... Uh, we got ourselves the the uh, the big sliver over uh, sliver overlord. Uh, we got the uh, the, uh, the the scarecrow. Uh, anyways, a bunch of good stuff. 
Love the Cage Sun and Teferi's T Puzzle Box. Anyways, just a lot of playable good cards. Uh, could open these boxes forever. Uh, super fun. So I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, everyone, I hope you you thought it was well worthwhile. I certainly thought it was. Uh, everyone have a magical day. Thank you for watching Collectors of the Coast. Please subscribe and like below. If you like our content, please consider becoming a patron. Uh, patrons help us grow the channel uh, and we, uh, I'll get great deals and more. Uh, check us out on Discord if you'd like to become a part of the community. The information to join the Discord is in the description below.